Here are some of the rules on how to add S or ES to your verb in using simple present tense. Okay, if you have singular subject and then you have a simple present tense, we have to add S or ES to the verb, right? So now here are the lists. So we have here, if we end with I or E, we have to add ES. If our verb ends with one vowel O, we have to add ES. Again, if our verb ends with X, we have to add ES. And if our verb ends with CH, again, we have to add ES. Now, for SH, we have to add ES. Now we have here scratches, flushes. So we have here pass. Now we have double S. Now since we have double S, we have to add ES. Okay, pass now becomes passes. If our verb ends with two vowel letters like this, tie, I and E, we just need to add S, okay? Tie becomes ties, right? Now we have boo, double O. She boos the concert. She boos the singer. If we have double O, we have to add S. As we had previously, dance becomes dances. If we have E, we just had to add S. Now if we have P, flap becomes flaps. Proof, we have to add S. Okay, and we have double F, graph. So we just have to add S. Hmm? And we have double S there. Now, what if it ends with P? We just have to add S. So now we have burp, burps. Kick. What if we if the verb ends with CK? We just have to add S. Kick, kicks. Now, one more. What if we have the T at the end of the verb? We just have to add S. Tweet, tweets. Okay? Now another thing here, if we have double vowel, as I said, but here we have U and E. We just have to add S. Values. Okay? Show. If it ends with W, if it ends with W, we just have to add S. Okay? Now if we have N, happen, we need to add S. So these are the endings, the verb endings that we need to add ES. And these are the verb endings that we need to add only S. Hope you get all the rules and I'll see you next video. Bye!